Hey guys, welcome back. Kent, Vale Valley Pharmacy. Today we're going to talk about uh, probiotics. And one of the reasons why I'm talking about it is because so many people have called in and asked questions. This is a very extensive topic, so I'm going to keep it summarized for you. But if you're interested in probiotics and why you may take a probiotic for better health and well being, tune in. So probiotics, you know, it's not as easy to talk about this as what all of us would think because there are 450 million strains of bacteria that live in our gut from our throat all the way down to our colon. So if you're walking in and you're saying, hey, there's a probiotic and it says probiotic on there, we need to, we need to get a little more education. It's probably not the right one for you or subtherapeutic or there are the probiotics we need to we need to make an informed decision. The history of probiotics really we started figuring out just with immune system studies and GI tract studies that these bacteria are doing a job. They're they're keeping us alive. I mean, there are more bacteria that live in our body than we have cells. So it's really the largest thing, largest living organism in our entire body are the bacteria that live with us, okay? Yeah, most of them are lacto and bifido, and, and if you see like uh, culturel is one that has lactobacillus in it, yeah, it is a very studied strain, but it is one strain. I, I want all y'all to start thinking that a probiotic is not just one thing. There's millions and hundreds of millions, and we can focus on particular strains to treat different conditions in our body, okay? Um, there's a lot of reasons to take probiotics, okay? I, I think immune system is what most of us think of. Uh, and yes, so what they mean by that is your immune system, your first line of defense, it's called the cell-mediated immunity and your IgA live in your GI tract. And we've kind of talked about this on our ulcerative colitis thing. There's a slime layer that bacteria live throughout your GI tract, okay? Your IgA, part of your immune system, whenever you get a hold of something, you shake somebody's hand, they had a cold, then you eat an hour later, you didn't wash your hands good, that little molecule of bacteria, boom, the IgA grabs hold of and then secretes out through the stool and you don't get sick. All this works because you have a healthy gut flora or probiotics. So when you have this nice film of bacteria and in each section, there's different bacteria that live all the way down to vaginal canals and rectum, colorectal. You're going to have different bacteria strains. All of it has to be living in its right environment. When they get out competed, then we get sick. You get colds. You get inflammatory bowel issues. You get sick more often if you don't have a really good gut flora due to inflammatory processes. You get repeat vaginal yeast infections, especially my peri and postmenopausal women whose pH ends up changing due to lack of hormone levels. So all this can be treated with bacteria safely and effectively instead of taking antifungals and antibiotics to treat these infections. Why don't we just prevent disease before it happens, okay? And that's what probiotics do. Um, I, I have cured GERD, I've cured ulcers, I've cured or at least subsided ulcerative colitis to the point where it's not noticeable, which is what you want. Um, all this with different strains. There's not one probiotic that you can walk in and just say, hey, I want a probiotic. The proper thing should be, what are you treating? My kids take a chewable probiotic that has streptococcus salivaries in it because all the kids in their class get strep throat and they miss school for upper respiratory tract infections. They chew one of those in the morning before we go. That's only treating this, you know? So my ulcerative colitis people, 
irritable bowel syndrome, they need super high doses. So some of my customers come in and they'll say, well, I eat yogurt every day. Well, a tub of Yoplait yogurt has seven teaspoons of sugar in it, okay? So that sugar is causing so much inflammatory issues in your bowels that who cares about the 100,000 strains of lactobacillus that's in there because you're causing more harm than good. So yogurt's not a good source in my opinion. Greek yogurt is a good source because there's no sugar, no added sugar, no artificial sugar, so that'd be a better source. But ulcerative colitis, I have them treating with 415 billion twice a day. You would literally have to eat 100,000 Greek yogurts a day. It's not maybe 50,000. But either way, I mean, there's just not a one-to-one -one ratio. We're talking about these medical grade companies, pharmaceutical grade companies, are putting these strains that hit the area that I want to treat that are beneficial to your immune system, your kid's immune system, your specific condition, and hey, you don't have to waste your money on all this stuff that's not working, okay? So I, um, I love the fact that bacteria help break down our food, so digestion is really important. So immune system, right, now digestion. If you're not digesting your foods well because your bacteria is off, then you're not getting your nutrients out of your, your strawberries, let's say. So eventually you'll be nutriently depleted and you're not the, you don't have the most energy levels you can possibly have, which comes back to your immune system too. So digestion is really important. If you're not having a bowel movement every day, then we're gonna have bowel issues from, back, from backups and blockage causing inflammation, even increased levels of certain hormones like estrogen, because you're not getting everything out, you're not having a complete bowel movement every day. So Probiotics can help with that. They also help with diarrhea. Diarrhea, a lot of times, is an overgrowth of a, of a, a non-beneficial bacteria you got a hold of, okay? So if you flush your system with good probiotics, you can push that right out of there. So um, what I really want all of y'all to get apart, uh, to get the point is, is there's not one good probiotic. There's a bunch of good probiotics, and you need to figure the one out that's best for you. Not only that is for a healthy di a digestive tract and immune system, you need to vary the strains. So I don't want you buying one and staying on. I won't put people on one forever either. Once or twice a year, I want you to buy a different one and repopulate with a couple of different strains and it'll keep that immune system and everything working. You can get used to the same ones. So let's keep that immune system up ramped, ramped up and, and working good by varying strains, okay? So ever since probiotics started coming out in the marketplace, um, we talked about counterfeit and uh, poor storage conditions. It's, probiotics is one of the worst, okay? Because there's nobody testing any of this stuff. So if you're walking into your big box store and buying a bottle this big that says probiotic, where were those sitting? Were they delivered to you refrigerated? Were they sitting on a dock that's 145 degrees on a dock in Texas somewhere? These things have to, they're delivered to me refrigerated and I keep under deliberate storage conditions so I can guarantee you when you get it, you're getting the live strains. They're very sensitive to temperature changes, okay? I personally don't like the ones that are refrigerated. I like the ones that are thermal stabilized by Zymogen, orthomolecular, Metagenics does a good job. Uh, Thorn has a couple of them that I use occasionally. But these companies do, they don't even put a probiotic out before they test it and make sure everything's in there. They have expiration dates stored at room temperature that are up to two years. And they're perfectly good. So my patients that have to go to a refrigerator to pull a probiotic, compliance shoots down. So they don't take it every third day, fourth day, they're gone for the weekend because they don't want to refrigerate it. I don't recommend them. I have one in the refrigerator I recommend, and that's VSL number three from our ulcerative colitis irritable bowel people, okay? So I know I've, I've kind of talked a lot about different, different stuff. I don't want to, you know, confuse all of you guys, but the questions that I'm getting on my comment page and calling into the pharmacy and instant messages, they're very inquisitive questions that y'all want to know more, okay? So I'm giving you a little more information this time. I don't want to go over your head, but I want you to know that when you're buying a probiotic, you need to be specific and you need to buy one that's going to be good 
the storage conditions are right, it's alive, and you will get a benefit out of it, and you're not wasting your money. So you know you can go to my website as a tool to pick. Everything that I have on there is medical grade foods. They're all pharmaceutical grade. Everything on there I've gone through and I've made sure that those companies test all their stuff. And you'll see they're not that much more expensive. Okay, you get what you pay for though. You want a multi-strain, high, probably 20 to 22 billion strain probiotic that's temperature stabilized for your immune system and vary the strains once or twice a year. I say Orthobiotic, ProBioMax from Zymogen, fantastic product. It's individually packaged so you can put one in your purse or whatever. And maybe put in an Ultra Floor Spectrum from Metagenics once or twice a year. It's a little more expensive, but it'll vary the strains once a year. But those are the three that I'm currently doing on my rotation for just basic immune system function. Children, Metagenics, Ultra Flora, the grape chewable ones. I kind of talked about this before. It has pure cane sugar, so there's a little sugar, but if your kid's not going to chew it, they're not going to take it, right? And also have some drops, okay? So standard immune system, digestive support, those three probiotics are fantastic. If you have a specific condition you want to treat, okay? Multiple yeast and vaginal problems, vaginal yeast infections multiple times per year, you may have a pH balance off or you may have a bacterial problem. I got you covered. Irritable bowel, ulcerative colitis, uh, you know, kids with ear, nose, throats that are missing school. That's when you give me a call and we can take, we can actually make a plan for your family and we'll get it shipped right out to you. Okay? I want you to make an informed decision and use me like a lot of people out there are doing. I appreciate all the phone calls, instant messages. I'll get back to you every single time I can guarantee you. You can call me right at the store, hit zero, ask for Ken. All right, so I went over a lot, but I really want you all, the one key point I want you to know is most of the stuff out there is no good. You gotta get a good one. They're all about the same price, so you might as well get a medical grade, pharmaceutical grade that I can guarantee you what's in there is what's in there. All right. Keep sending those questions, veilvalleypharmacy at gmail.com. Or no, that's my email address. Veilvalleypharmacy.com is the email address. Uh, the store, 970-569-4150, hit zero, or instant message me. And that way we can all get on the same page and be well. Thanks, guys.